Yo, real quick, I want to give a shout out to my boy Ginger Nut. I used to record with him a ton and he's finally come back to YouTube and he actually has a cameo in this video. So check his channel out. Uh, I'll link it down below. He's about to hit a thousand subscribers, so you should probably go there right now. All right, second thing. Um, from now on, I'll be adding one person as a NPC in the zoo per episode. So if you want that to be you, just leave a like and include your in-game name as part of your comment. All right, let's dive into the video. Was that a Zorar cry? There's no way, right? Could it actually be Zorark? I haven't seen him in so long. I I completely forgot about him back when we were in Opafex City. Could he still be upset about that? Well, first I have to make sure he's okay. Zorark, it, is that you? It is! Zorark! Wait, Kira? And Zorark? What? Zorark is acting insane. Kira, what did you do to Zorark? Hey, I swear I didn't do anything. I know we were enemies, but... Man, I don't care what you have to say. I... I'm just worried about Zorark. Zorark, it's me. Don't you remember me? It's me. What? What was that? Oh my goodness. Did Zorark just... Attack me? I told you, I didn't do anything. I found Zoroark like that. Can't you see his eye? His... his eye... it's... blue... and galactic like the... the others. He must be affected by the... the strange signal. So... that would mean... all I have to do is defeat Zorark in a battle, right? No! Look, would you just listen? Zoroark's eyes shine a powerful blue different than the other Pokemon I've seen affected, which had purple eyes. Huh? Kira, you know about the rampaging Pokemon? Yeah, I do. I've been logging reports of strange Pokemon activity over the past week, and I think I finally figured out the source. You figured out the source? Well, what was it? It seems that changing the universe created dimensional rifts, and these are the source of the activity. In other words, the source is an ultra wormhole. An ultra wormhole? You really think it's an ultra wormhole? I mean, I guess that would explain why his eyes look galactic. They almost look like a wormhole themselves. Oh my goodness. You're... You're terrifying, Zorark. It sucks to see you reduced to a state like this, but it looks like you've become a mossy variant. You must have ended up near Moha Forest when the reset happened. I'm so sorry I neglected you. I'm gonna try everything I can to fix things. I promise, Zorak. But yo, 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 Kira, okay. <laughs> On a side note, what happened to your French accent, man? I, I distinctly remember that about you. Huh? My French accent? There's an ultra wormhole open, and that's what you care about? Ugh. Well, my French accent was sort of just part of the character I played as a collector. Now that I've moved on from that, I don't need to keep using it. So, you've moved on from being a collector, does that mean you're really on my side now? I... I suppose so. I saw LL Cole's humiliating defeat and realized how futile what we were pursuing had been. I love this new world you created with your wish, and right now, all I want to do is preserve it. This ultra wormhole threatens that, since it's making Pokemon go crazy. Right, so how do we uh, plug up this wormhole? There's gotta be a way, right? I... I have no clue to be frank. I suppose first, we'll need to find one of the ultra wormholes to begin with. I detected the signal of the ultra wormhole with my makeshift radio set, but the setup isn't good enough to detect the precise location. It'll take me a while to be able to do that. So how about you get on with what you're doing, and I'll let you know if anything changes. Okay, fine, I, I guess I, since I would have no idea that it's ultra wormholes to begin with, I do trust you, and I think you know what you're doing. But you better take good care of Zorark. 
he's in a really bad state, and I hope he's gonna be okay. It looks like you've given him comfort options, but still. I'm sorry, Zorak. I'll be back. Kira's gonna take good care of you. Otherwise, otherwise, yeah, he's he's not gonna be living for long, cause you're you're my number one priority right now, Zorak. I'm sorry about this. Okay. I I guess all we can do now is try to go back to doing what we were doing. So that means smashing the other rock, using Tauros as an aid. Well, it feels really weird to do that while all this Zorak stuff is happening, but all right. I guess let's transition back to what we were doing before. Tauros! Thank goodness you're still here. So, are you ready to go break a rock? I mean, alright, let's do it, let's do it. You seem energetic. Let's get out of here and let's do some damage to that rock that's blocking off the path to Fuel Forest. And once we do that, I guess Bailey should finally be able to trust us. Because we rode you and everything. You really liked my lavender beanie, which... Not gonna lie, is very fashionable. Like I can understand why you'd like it. <laughs> and uh, it was designed by that Nick and Jordan duo. And they definitely knew what they were doing. Alright, so, Tauros, the rock is just up here if I remember correctly. Alright, alright, alright. So, right here, we should be good. Here's what I want you to do. Full speed ahead, ram into that rock. Go for it, Tauros! That worked! You're amazing, Tauros! Now we have access to Fuel Forest. Man, okay, I can't wait to see the look on Bailey's face! Ha! He's gonna love this, okay. Or he's gonna, I guess, hate that we were actually able to do it. Man, you did amazing, Tauros. You're the best. Really appreciate that. So, I guess I'll let you go back to the farm, huh? Um, it was nice being with you, and I'll see you again in the future. I've got a few loose ends to to, um, to patch up, I guess. Alright, I'll see you in a bit, Tauros. Whoa, he's off. Huh. Man. Tauros is awesome, huh? But I've gotta go... I should go talk to Ariel, huh? I should tell her about that ultra wormhole stuff. That should be my number one priority, because she was really concerned. Alright, right, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, first I've gotta find her, though. She was in Moha Town earlier. But, is she around the camp now? I didn't see her passing by. Maybe she's by the, the mossy enclosure. Yo, Ariel! Ariel! Are you around here? You are! Perfect! Ariel! You're, you're attending to the chimchars, I guess. So, um, Ariel. I, I need to tell you something. Something pretty crazy, actually. Wow. That's a lot to process. But it is a major breakthrough in our case. For now, Pixel, you cleared your second mission. Congrats! Whoa. Thanks so much, Ariel. That's two missions down. I think three more until we rank up. But, wait. So, right now we know the source is the Ultra Wormhole, but we have no clue where it is. I, I let Kira kind of handle it for now, but should we start to search for it? Or should we focus on other stuff for now? Since we have no clues in regards to its location, I think we should stick to smaller missions until we have a more prominent lead. Alright, so does that mean I can be done for the day? I mean, I did clear a mission, so I wouldn't mind a break, not gonna lie. Almost! If you could talk to Farmer Bailey to confirm that we can work on a habitat in Violi Forest, that would be it for today. Ah, uh, fine, fine, okay. See you in a bit, Ariel. See you, Pixel. Good luck! Alright, so all I have to do today is talk to Farmer Bailey, which is a little bit annoying because he wasn't a huge fan of zookeepers, but that's all we have to do, right? I mean, it doesn't sound like the biggest task. All we have to do is go to Fuel Town and talk to my man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just forgot. We should probably grab some more Poke Notes just in case we need them. Alright, let's grab... Let's grab... We might as well, like, we should grab them all, but Ariel might want to make her own notes, so we'll leave it at that. We have five done so far. Alright, we're going to add some more today. Uh, right off the bat, we can add Tauros for sure, and maybe a few others. I don't know. Okay, let me just put these here, actually, so we have easy access to them. And we can explore Fuel Forest, but maybe that's a, a job for tomorrow. Yo, Adillo! 
I, I do want to talk to you before I talk to you, your dad. But there's some stuff I actually wanted to check out first. We didn't look at this like crystal area earlier. It's pretty intriguing. There's like a build team and everything, and whoa! There's floral machoke. Huh. I didn't see any of this. <laughs> there's a guy <laughs> lugging some wood over there, Ross. Nice dude. While <laughs> oh, the machoke are just chilling. Uh and there's a van. You've already built a van and it's been like a week? Huh, I guess eight days now. Maybe slightly more. That's insane. What are you building though, Curtis, since you're the leader of this construction project? Sorry, kiddo. This road is going to be blocked off for a while. We're building a bridge across the valley ahead. I heard rumors of a city and mountain of crystals being across the valley. I hope to see it with my own eyes someday. Don't worry though, we aren't touching any natural resources like the crystals. Well, I'm glad that you're not touching any of the crystals, as that would, I mean the zookeepers would have to intervene with that, but if you're just building a bridge then I guess that could be beneficial to people and Pokemon, because if it's a dangerous valley, Pokemon who'd want to cross the bridge would definitely benefit from it. Alright, I'll let you guys go on with your construction product, but now I think about it, if there are crystals, does that, is that like enough of an environment change to actually create a new Pokemon variant? Like could there be crystal variants? That would be insane. Huh. Well, that's something we can ponder over. There were some other, some more of these houses we didn't check out. Yo, are there more Machoke in here? Yo, yo, no way. <laughs> these Machokes are hitting the gym. Yo, what's up, dude? Machoke! Oh, okay. Yeah, that Machoke is pretty upset. <laughs> Yo, he's doing... He's running on the treadmill, and this guy was pumping some irons. Respect, man. Respect. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave him to it. And finally, I didn't talk to you yet. Wait. What's up with you, my dude? Man, you know what really grinds my gears? Ragweed! It's been spreading all over and destroying our beautiful flowers. I hate ragweeds so much that I would pay to see them destroyed. Yo, are you actually paying? So if you break ragweed, this guy will pay you money. Huh, and, and there's one right here in his garden, man. You're really doing a poor job of handling the ragweed, my dude. So I've got one of these, but you said it's three for one nugget, and then a giant ragweed is one nugget as well. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. That's a way that we can get some extra money in case we do want to buy any smoothies or any yogurts or anything. So I will keep that in mind. All right, Adillo, now back to you. So I, I, I did it. I managed to get Tauros to stop rampaging and we broke open the rock that was blocking access to a fuel forest. So Adillo, you should totally come talk to your father with me. It's the perfect opportunity. He'll be super happy that I managed to fix the whole Tauros crisis. You actually did it. So my dad said he wouldn't be upset at zookeepers anymore? Well, yeah, that was the agreement. So I definitely think right now is the best time for you to come with me to talk to him. And you should bring up the fact that you want to become a zookeeper if you have enough confidence to do that. I, I don't want to push you into doing anything, but I, I think right now could be a good time to do it, you know? Okay, I'll do it. So, you actually managed to ride on Tauros, ha! <laughs> Man, I was sure I had stumped you, but I guess I'll honor my promise. Yo, does that mean you'll let us set up an enclosure in Fuel Forest? Yeah! You've proven to me that I do need some help managing affairs around town. Dad, I want to become a zookeeper. Huh? Are you serious? Yeah, I want to do what Pixel does, and I want to help people in Pokemon out. Bailey, I think Adillo has a ton of potential. I would love working alongside him. So, you should totally let him try his own thing. Huh! You know what? Go for it, Adillo. You've always been so caring towards Pokemon. I can't see why you wouldn't make a great zookeeper. No way! Thank you so much, Dad. You won't regret this. So, Adillo, now that that's done, I remember you mentioned there were Pokemon that you thought were trapped in a sinkhole. 
Should we go try rescuing them? Yeah, we'll need Pokemon that can use Dig. I think there's an Aaron and a Drillbur that can be found in the Fiola Forest. Perfect! Alright, Adillo. I'll be on that and I'll meet you at the sinkhole when I'm able to befriend Aaron and Drillbur. Alright. Adillo's already gone. <laughs> Man, he's really eager to become a zookeeper and everything. But that's awesome! That went honestly so much better than I thought it would. Man, I'm so happy for Adillo. He's gonna do great. I'll bring him up to Ariel later. But for now, we've gotta- I, I guess- Right, I was gonna go to sleep, but as soon as I remember the Pokemon in the sinkhole, I can't just let that slide. The more time we leave him down there, the worse it gets, so we've got to be on that right now. But first, Tauros. Um, I want to do something that I forgot to do earlier. Hopefully you don't mind. So, Tauros, you're native to Fuel Farm, I suppose, and Fuel Town. You like lavender clothing, and this is how you look. Alright, let's register you to the Pokenote. Alright, I've got Floral Taurus registered. That's awesome. Thank you for all the help, Taurus. I hope your skull isn't too hurt after ramming into those, all those rocks. Alright, I'll be off, but I will check back with you later. We, I guess we could also check out the, the hidden grotto area, but wait! Yo, is that Oranguru? Yo, my man! You're, you're just chilling over in Fuel Town? Right, I, I don't think we should go to the hidden grotto. It hasn't been a full day, so I don't think there'd be any new special Pokemon there, but... Yo! Oranguru! So, uh, okay, I, I have a, I have an awesome suggestion for you. I'm gonna head into Fuel Forest right now. So, would you, would you want to be like my, my partner in crime? For uh, going through the forest and protecting me if any harm comes away? Yo! Legend! Okay, so Oranguru, uh, let's head to Fuel Forest. And you know what? If you, if you do well, I could arrange for you to get a persimmon smoothie, which I, I think you would like. <laughs> I think you would like that a lot. So, uh, oh, yo, there's another ragweed here. Huh. Ooh, ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, 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 look at this, look at this. So, one ragweed, another ragweed over here. You know what? That's one, that's one nugget. And I think I, I was jumping all over those props. I'm, I'm sorry, Farmer Bailey. <laughs> okay, run, run, run. <laughs> Yo, so before we go to Fuel Forest, I am going to get you some, get you some persimmon smoothie to incentivize you. And yo, Adillo's already here. Perfect. Okay, I'll be quick with this. Yo, wait, hit me up. Okay, so we got one nugget. Oh, I dropped it. Ah, we're good. Let me get some. The persimmons were in Moha Town. So all we need are three persimmons, bop, and bop. We got three of them, we got the gold nugget, I'm gonna get you some smoothie. <laughs> alright, alright, I, I like being nice to Oranguru, he's a, he's a, he's an OG, he's an MVP. Okay, here we are, Oranguru, oh, Oranguru, where'd he go? Oh, Oranguru? Is he around? Oh, there you are, alright, you're, you're gonna like this. What do you think about this? Persimmon smoothie. Hey, you gulped it up! <laughs> you seem really happy, you're so, you're so happy you're jumping around like crazy! Awesome, okay. So now that you have a little bit of incentive, my dude Oranguru, we're gonna go ahead and go into Fuel Forest, which is a new area! That's exciting! Alright, there. I guess there'd be a ton of new Pokémon for us to discover, including the, the Aeron and the Drillbur. Which apparently were the ones that could use dig. Yo, yeah, Warren Crew is having a bit of trouble catching up. Star you, how you doing, my dude? You're just chilling over here. I'm gonna get you some star fruit yogurt later though. Right now I've gotta focus on this stuff. Okay, Warren Guru. Here we are in the fuel forest. Whoa! It's really mossy actually. It's not like fuel town at all. There's a Mareep here though. Huh. Well, I, that's pretty interesting then. I guess the Drillbur and Aaron must be mossy if they're living around here. And wait, you're here again? What what what, what on earth are you doing here, man? I heard shearing plants that are up on trees can give you special items. Maybe you should try it out. 
Alright, I guess I'll keep that in mind. Plants that are up on trees, what do you mean? The vines? Oh, maybe he means like that plant over there. I guess I'll check it out. But uh, you're still offering the ragweed deal. And I actually see a ragweed right here. I'll keep it in mind if I get any of these. Okay, so... Whoa! Yo, Oranguru, what's going on over here? It's Psyduck! And Mareep was walking around here too. Huh. This is part floral and part mossy. Wait, maybe this was what Ariel had in mind when she wanted to build an enclosure here. This would be perfect. It would be a, a dual enclosure. Huh. And wait, yo, no way. Psyduck, did, did you finally find what you like? Could this be it? Psy, Psyduck. No way! Yo! <laughs> I guess Psyduck doesn't like food at all. He just likes rubber ducky plushies. Which, I don't know why it was left here, but... Does that mean we can <laughs> write up a pokey note on Psyduck? Because I, I didn't see you in Moha Town. You must have come all the way here for this rubber ducky plushie. Okay, Psyduck. I'm registering you to the pokey note. You are native to Moha Town and Fuel Forest, I guess. And... You like rubber ducky <laughs> plushies, and this is how you look. Awesome. All right, Oranguru, I've got a new Pokenote for Psyduck, and that's two new Pokenotes already since we've settled the whole Tauros thing. So I'll bring these back to camp when I can, um, but I'll leave you now for, well, I'll, I'll leave you here for now, Psyduck. And there's another one of the ragweed. Let me grab that, so that's two, and if we find one more, we can cash it in. Okay, so Oranguru, where would the the Drillbur and the Aaron be? Now that I think about it, this cave seems like the most obvious place. Are Whoa! Two new variants! Aaron and Drillbur. They're both mossy variants. Wow! Whoa, look at this, Oranguru! Aaron has grown moss on spots on his body and its head. That's so cool. And it looks like Drillbur has as well. He has moss growing on his claws. Wow. These guys are really cool. They must be like bros. They're just chilling here. So I need to convince them to get to where we need to go. And the best way to do that is by finding what out by finding out what kind of food they like. So Aaron. Ron! Aaron, you like coal, man. This guy actually eats coal, huh? <laughs> and uh, Drillbur, what do you like? Let's check it out. Soft plant stem. I have no idea how to get that. We'll figure that out. But coal. Wait. Okay, Oranguru. This is kind of wild. But do you think you could like punch this uh, this coal right here? Like punch through it? Is, is it possible? I'll I'll, I'll let you. Have some room here, cause oh you're you're having some, some trouble fitting through there. But do you or do you think maybe even the one under Aaron? Do you think you could do that? Like it, it might harm Aaron actually, but you could try I guess. Okay, go for it. Try punching it. Let's see if it works. Did what? You did it! No way. Okay, so we can get we can get Aaron out of this hole right now actually. Um, cause he's gonna follow us, so I'm just gonna get him out of there. I'm so sorry, Aaron. Okay, you're good. Yes, Aaron's just chilling up here. Uh, I don't want to bring you away from your friend, though. Um, so we need to find out dr what Drillbur likes. So, um, he likes the soft plant stem. I I'm thinking about what Wait said, and maybe if we try shearing some of these plants up here. I think I saw some other ones as well. Maybe not. Oh, there's another rad ragweed here. Perfect. Okay. Um, where can we get shears, though? Probably somewhere in Fuel Town. I'm, I'm thinking maybe Jordan and Nick had some. Because they must do, because they need to shear the their Mareep. And they do. It's right there. Whoa. And the shears are shaped like the the pincers of of Scyther. Or the claws. The grips? I don't know. That's That's awesome. We got some Scyther shears here. Okay, so let's try using these shears on the plant that was growing up there. And whoa, got some almonds growing there. Huh. Okay. So, oh, I, I completely lost. Oh yeah, Oranguru, right when I was going to say I lost you. Okay. 
So, where was it at? It was here. Can we try shearing this? Whoa! There's a flower that drops and a soft plant stem! Whoa! We got a white flower and a soft plant stem. That's awesome! I'm gonna- <laughs> Um, yo, actually, Oranguru, could- could you- could you be a mad solid? Wait. I should not- no, 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 no. Now, I was gonna have you carry the shears <laughs> back, but there's no way I'm letting you carry these shears, man. You're- you got a fan in one arm and your other- or one hand in your other hand. Might accidentally drop it and harm you, so nope, we're not doing that. We're gonna put them right back there. <laughs> Sorry, Aaron Guru. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just um, I'm a little bit worried about your safety, because that is my number one priority as a zookeeper. Not be being lazy. That's inexcusable. Okay, so we're gonna grab this soft plant cell, and we're gonna get these. I'm gonna call them. Okay, I got it. They're the Burrow Bros. They they dug themselves a little burrow. The Burrow Bros. I love it. Drillbur and Aaron. Okay, so we got the soft plant stem. Drillbur! Dope, dope, dope. Alright guys, follow me real quick. And yo, actually, oh, yo, Aaron. Okay, bop, 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 can we get you to follow me? Perfect. Actually, I can log you two to the Poke Notes. Okay, so Drillbur likes soft plant stems and is native to the fuel town or the fuel forest. And Aaron likes coal and is native to the fuel forest as well, and this is how they look like. All right, both Aaron and Drillbur have been registered to the Pokino. That's perfect. All right, so Oranguru, let's be on our way and uh, get these guys to come to the sinkhole. And I guess, Oranguru, this can be where we part ways, um, since I <laughs> don't think you'll want to go into the sinkhole, that's for sure. So, uh, thanks for the, the help. You punched through that coal. You were amazing, and uh, I guess I'll, I'll see you around in, in Moha Forest or Moha Town. See you, my dude. Um, I, I'll <laughs> if you ever need any more persimmon smoothies, I can hook you up. Alright, Aaron and Drillbur, though, we've got our own little mission to do. So, we... Okay, if you guys are chill with this, I give you guys some food, so hopefully you're not too upset. Uh, I'd like you to dig through a hole or a sinkhole over here, so it, it shouldn't be too much work for you guys, hopefully. Um, so this hole right here, I want you guys to dig through it, if that's okay with you. Oh, <laughs> the flowers are making you kinda mess around. Okay, let me just plop Drillbur in here. So if you could dig through it without actually falling in, that would be the best case scenario. But <laughs> I'm not sure that how easy that would be for you guys. So wait, let me just talk to Dillo real quick to try to arrange this properly. Perfect! You got the duo here. Now, if we can get them to use dig, I have a bunch of rope, so one of us can be roped down there. Okay, so Adillo, are you cool if I go down there and you hold the rope up as soon as we get these guys to use dig? Fine by me. Let's do it! Alright. Aaron and Drillbur, go for dig! Yes! Using dig worked! And you got the rope ready, Adillo. Whoa, there's definitely something down there. I mean, I don't know if there are Pokemon there, but... Um, <laughs> okay, you know what, Adillo, here goes nothing. So, <laughs> this is, and you guys didn't fall in, that's dope. This is based on your theory that before the sinkhole collapsed, there are Pokemon trapped down here. So, we'll see if it's true or not, but if it's not true, no hard feelings, Adillo. I mean, we all make mistakes, but I like your intuition, I trust it, so I'm jumping straight in! Whoa! Whoa! We're good. Whoa! It's a... What is that? Was that a... Gligar? It didn't look like, like a mossy or... or floral variant. Could it be... a glacial variant? Or now I think about it, this whole cave is crystal-like. Could it be a, a crystal variant Gligar? Was that the Pokemon that was trapped down here? And wait, there's more. Whoa! What? Ah, uh, it's Delmiz. I've never seen a Delmiz before. I mean, I've heard about the anchor-like Pokemon, but wow. You truly are a sight to behold. And 
What is this? Yo, Gligar, you're still playing around. There... This is so odd. You're... You've created roots. They seem to be ingrained to the ceiling. Wait. The cracks. Are you preventing a sinkhole from happening, Delmise? You're a floral variant. I, I wonder if I can talk to you, try to communicate with you. Ariel's so much better at this than me, but uh, I'll give it a shot. Delmise. Uh, let's talk. Delmise. 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 Delmise seems grateful that you made it here, and it seems that it wants you to help out Gligar. Delmise. Is the Gligar here a, a crystal variant? That would make it the first one I've seen, and a, a new variant that we've discovered. Hey, there he is flying around. Um, then, wait, that would make sense, because the Crystal Hills area connects to Fuel Town. So maybe the Gligar accidentally made it here from the Crystal Hills. Del Mies. Del Mies. Del Mies. Del Mies nods in agreement and insists you help Gligar escape. Del Mies, I'll definitely help Gligar out. But what about you? The, the roots you're holding up. Are they supporting the foundation of Fuel Town? Is that what's going on? Del. Del Del! Del Mies! Del Mies nods once again, and insists that they shall be fine. Del Mies wants you to help Gligar return home. Del Mies. Okay, you have my word. I'll escort Gligar to his home immediately. If he was trapped here, I'm sure he'll want to get back to his friends and family. And I'll find some way to get you out of here. I, I promise. Gligar, I'm so sorry that you'll be separated from Dalmiz, but I, I trust that <laughs> in the future you guys will meet again for sure. I'm gonna get you out of here first, and then I'll get Dalmiz out. But I need you to trust me. I'm gonna get you back to your friends, alright? Alright. You seem to trust me, which is awesome. Gligar, let's get out of this sinkhole trap. And let's bring you home.